Fabulous 4th of July requires some delicious food, but what about decorations, Nicole? Uh, it's a must. We love a theme and we love a craft. For So for this month's Cole's Crafts, mm -hmm. we are going full on 4th. So we are going to make a fun little uh, candle that you can have, you know, on your patio while, you know, you're, you're barbecuing uh, that you can light. And then at night, you know, it, it comes off and it can be, uh, you know, cute and bright. Um, and nice. so we're going to do that real quickly. This one's super duper simple. All you need is a mason jar, mm -hmm. a candle, Mod Podge, and a flag, one of the flags that you can just get from, I think I got this from Walmart, and you just take carefully take this off, and that's what you're gonna be mod podging to the glass jar. So I have it all laid out right here. So if you want to, I can hold down the flag yes, while you, you that, paint a, right on top. A, a layer on, yep. Okay. And the Mod Podge is what is creating a clear coat and also works as a glue to keep it stick, uh, to stay on. So like, you know, when we made the plates with the fabric, this is basically that same thing. Yeah. And you're gonna mm -hmm. go on that whole time. I would try to stay with the edges first because you want it. Oh, yep. as in like go around the edges, like yep. kind of outline it. Yeah, a little oh, bit, yep, okay. right that. Nicole, can I ask you a question? Of course. Where do you find these crafts? Um, a lot of this is like on Pinterest online. Okay. Or, you know, you see something in the store and you're like, you know, hey, I can make that. And I just think this is a simple way um, to use like those flags, but right. to kind of elevate your space, it's like kind of on theme, but not too much in your face. Yeah. So um, what I'll do is I can continue to paint while I introduce the next flag okay. or craft. Sounds good. Yep. So, yeah. And then this there will dry go. during commercial break and stuff. Gotcha. The next one is we're going to find some decor that we can hang from our patio. And this, all you need is a can. Um, and then you need to spray paint, uh, spray some spray paint, some contact paper. And then, of course, some ribbon. You can see that right there. Mm -hmm. um, I will say, obviously, you're going to want to obviously empty, wash that can, <laughs> uh, and spray paint it, and then right. um, and let it dry. So I would do that like the night before, mm -hmm. and then um, get duct tape or glue, and then we're going to start putting in the ribbon. So if you want to, okay, just grab a ribbon. Yep. And why don't I, while I do this, you can put the st the star stickers on the blue. I think it kind of makes it nice. It is pretty. Okay. Yeah, so now I just got from like contact paper from, honestly, you can get it from the dollar store. The dollar store has more and more crafts nowadays. They do. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that as well. Yeah, so that way, you know, just kind of add a little bit of, a little bit of zhuzh to the, to the can. And I think this is just, all of the times 4th of July, it's bright. You know, you see the bright colors right. in the sky with the fireworks. So same with the decor. And this is, you know, just fun to kind of make it, you know, a little bit more inviting when you have your, your 4th of July. Very true. Very and, homey. And also, I think it'd be fun just to do on the 4th of July yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. you, you know, depending on what you're doing. If you're not the one on the grill. Mm -hmm. And honestly, too, keep this decorations up because what's after the 4th of July? Team USA. Oh, USA, the Olympics. The Olympics. That's right. That's right. So you can cheer it on. Uh, it's a Veterans Day in November. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> a long time. Oh, like the election? <laughs> No, uh, I meant for oh, Veterans Day. Oh, Veterans Day. I see what you're saying. Uh, oh, there so, we go. Yeah, so then you have that kind of going on right there. And then um, what I would suggest, too, is puncturing some holes mm -hmm. in the can. You can just use a nail and a hammer, and then okay. you would kind of use a wire to kind of um, put this in. So that way, uh, and you would tie it underneath here, and so then it would kind of create uh, uh, something to hang on. Um, but we'll do that in the commercial break. It takes a little bit of... Um, of doing, but other than that, how, how do you like them? I really like this. I yeah. think this is so cute. This is very nice. And I definitely want to finish this over here mm -hmm. because this would be perfect to have outside on the patio, on the porch, especially like you said, when it gets uh, night outside. Yeah. It's a little bit dark. Absolutely. And, te and cheering on a country and of course team USA. USA. That's USA. right for the Olympics. <laughs> so we're going to wrap up our Tuesday show because on Facebook, we asked you to tell us where your favorite fireworks show in Michigan is. So coming up after the break, we'll read those responses from you on our feed. We'll be right back. And stay tuned because if you miss details about Heroes Day, you want more style ideas, or you want to recreate this craft, follow and subscribe to us on our social media, WILX Studio 10 on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You'll find all of our segments, plus our next giveaway, and a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.